in our study, actually, we had it was broken into two parts. One was a discussion of the the effects on animal health, and the second half was really a discussion of what policy changes could be affected. The biggest uh, health impact that we saw overall uh, with um, production animals and with companion animals uh, has been in reproduction. With humans, what we saw most complaints uh, and health impacts were with burning of the eyes, nose and throat, uh, headaches, nosebleeds, rashes, and also gastrointestinal problems, vomiting, diarrhea, and cramping. In New York, we don't have high volume hydraulic fracture. And, and actually in, you know, right in our area here, there's not much going on at this point. What, we, what we're concerned with is, is how can we change policy to make things better. Looking at the whole picture was that we had a lot more of the uh, health impacts with um, horizontal drilling with um, high volume hydraulic fracturing. We can't really start to think about testing of the animals or the products before slaughter, after slaughter, test the products until we know uh, what we're testing for. Another issue is uh, non-disclosure agreements. We found in a number of cases we've just haven't been able to get the information because people will settle with a company and when they settle they're gagged so they're not allowed to talk about the case. In cases where public health is at risk, and we think this is a case where public health is at risk, non-disclosure agreements should be banned. When we look across the board, I'm seeing uh, the same sorts of symptoms. And I'll even go one step further, is we do have a case uh, from the Bakken, where they are fracking for oil in the, in the tight shale there. And um, it's the same process. It's, it's high volume hydraulic fracturing, no matter which way you cut it. And so the, the symptoms are are basically the same. I think until it happens that we know what all the chemicals are that they're using for drilling and fracturing and also what comes up in the shale and we have complete testing, then public health is really at risk over both the short and long term.